I haven't played this game in a while, and I've still got, ooh, I've still got a couple more of these span experiments left to do, so let's do this one and just see what's up. I've been enjoying the span experiments a lot. Originally a Creeper World 3 story mission, now adapted for this one. Oh, I recognize this one. Uh, let's see, so where are we? We got a Bertha up there, but there's a spawner. I think the only safe place for me on this entire map is over here. And I definitely remember, I remember this map. I think it looked a little bit more epic, oddly enough, back in the day. But so we're going to want to kind of rush in and take this. We've got a couple of launchers up here and whatever the hell this thing is. I don't even know what that is. Uh, let's see, wonder if you've done any Slay the Spire. I was the first person to do Slay the Spire. Uh, technically second, but of all of all of the major YouTubers that covered Slay the Spire, uh, I was like the guy for it up until... Uh, Northern Lion started putting out con uh, content on it. And then I think Rhapsody took it, and now it's, what, Jorbs and Dolphin Chemist? I forget. I don't exactly keep track. I haven't played a whole lot of Slay the Spire in a while because, much as I love the game, I've played it to death. Okay, right, it's shift to pause. Do I look small? Are you playing on 4K? No, I just shrunk it down a bunch. Um, or maybe I never shrunk it down, and it's just this way. I don't, I don't actually know. Okay. I gotta remember the hotkeys here. I have not... I have not put a whole lot of time into this game in quite some time. And it's gonna throw me off. So we want to just grab this. And we need to get some guns in these pits really quickly. Oh, uh, let's see. Is it tab to go top down? Yeah, it is. Let's see if I can maintain the grid. The sacred grid. Except for here. I can't maintain the sacred grid in that... in this regard. Now the question is, do I value the grid more than I value proper defenses? <laughs> no. I I do not. The sacred grid is only important as long as it is actually practical. After a certain point, it's just like, okay, this is this is actively taking too long just, just for the sake of memes. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna set that up. Because if we can take the grid that gets us a bunch of early power, uh, and then also we can start getting some guns down. It's gonna flood these pits, but the pits are going to fill up pretty quick, so we're going to have to worry about that. Okay. I probably am going to want to get some mortars up in here more than anything else. And we do actually have some red on, so we can get the factory. We have... Uh, I don't know how long we have until the eggs... The spore launchers. Okay, we got three minutes until the spore launchers start popping. That gives us some options. Okay, let's pause. Go back to rebuilding the grid. Uh, let's see. Is it F1? Yeah, there we go. I was playing... What was it? Uh, Planetary Annihilation. Somebody was talking about uh, watching like an expert player just zip through everything with hotkeys. And I'm like, that'll never be me. I can barely remember the hotkeys for Photoshop. Like, I remember the ones that are important to me, but, like, half the other ones, like the, the weirder stuff, nah. Gone from my brain as soon as I don't need them anymore. Same thing with Premiere. Just too many things that require hotkeys nowadays, and it's just easy to lose. So what is your favorite meme strat? Uh, Terp or the Grid? Uh, oof. That's a question. Okay. We might have a little bit of overflow along a couple of these spots. So I might want to get some basic cannons down. We should probably also get a mine, but yeah, I might not actually get up into that spot before it starts hampering me. That's going to take a bit to fill. I might be okay. Because yeah, we effectively want this little trench to be as, um, oof, okay. We want this trench to be somewhat emptied out. Otherwise, I'm going to run into some troubles. Okay, so it's not going to let me go any further than that. I might have to I might have to just get some cannons down here. If you notice it's starting to overflow. So I'm going to probably have to work pretty hard to even get in here. This might not work. We'll see what happens. Okay. I think Flight of the Valkyries is probably my favorite strat, just because it's, uh, it's really fun just cannon rushing everything. Uh, let's see. 
This is the most ideal spot to get a couple of mines down. We're going to need it. We've still got how long? A minute and a half. Yeah, hopefully this gets finished. Only like a couple more. One more, and it's done. Okay, cool. No, it doesn't have any ammunition yet, but otherwise it's fine. Okay, how are we looking? Kind of iffy. The one issue is we are going to have an amount of creep starting to leak into this and then seeping up through my base, which is not great. But I should probably... Uh, I should probably build the factory first and foremost, otherwise we're going to run into some problems. Okay, we did get a couple of mines. Do we have any... Uh, no, all of our urns are buried. Okay, I can probably get two of those. Okay, we're, we're running at a bit of a deficit, but it's not too bad yet. Okay, good. And if I go back to missiles. Let's wait until those miners are done. Uh... I might be too late on that one. I think maybe I should have rushed... Eh, I'm not actually sure what would have been the right call on this one. Because, yeah, we're... We're just about to take a, a hit from the spore launchers. At least the creep isn't coming in too hard. Okay, let's do weapon again, missile. I'm just going to put it there. I doubt it's going to be done in time, because these are seconds from launching. Okay, actually we're super lucky they're not aiming for anything dangerous yet. So I've never seen this game before, and you don't quite understand it. It is a tower defense game uh, where you are effectively fighting fluid dynamics rather than um, rather than like an active enemy force. Uh, it kind of plays like an RTS. It kind of plays like a tower defense. Effectively, uh, it is very much about building like a really heavy turtle base and kind of defending it at all costs. But yeah, the blue is basically acid and actively tries to kill you. So it's you versus the ocean, yep. And there are a couple of special features. So this thing's an emitter, it sprays out more acid. This thing fires eggs and missiles that will kind of land in my area, so I have to stop it. Um, and then these little things will blast my, um, blast my structures if they get too close. So it's not just purely fluid dynamics, there's definitely a little bit more uh, that goes into it. Okay. That's a problem. That's that's a legitimate issue. Ha. Uh, uh, at least I've got some redundancies, but that that could hurt really bad. No, I don't have any redundancies. This entire area is going to run out of ammo real quick if I'm not careful. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I should have got snipers. I didn't think I'd need them so fast, but uh, I was wrong. Oh. <sighs> okay, I'm just going to try and cover every square inch to give myself a little bit more redundancy. I, that could have gone way worse. Uh, it still went badly, but it could have gone way worse. Okay, we still need more miners. Okay, I do have the missile launcher. We'll see. Remind me, what are the rainbow cubes? These things? They're urns. They're boosters. Okay, good. We did, in fact, have two missile launchers right in the, uh, right in the area. Their big problem right now is just an utter lack of resources. Okay, is the sniper done? No, oh, damn it. Uh, 
Uh, what blew up over here? Mortar, I think. Okay. I'm just going to build another sniper there. This whole business is spicy. If I can take this back, I will be a happy camper. This area is kind of holding. This area is bad. Okay. Another egg. Sniper? Good. Still kind of rough, though. I don't have quite enough guns in this area to really prevent a wave. I kind of do. I have I have some backup guns here. But yeah, we're going to lose that tower. I think this will be fine. I'll move this one up a little bit. Yeah, we're good. Okay, move that one closer. What is this doing? I'm just going to get a couple more. He's trying to missile me, but it's not not going to work as well. Okay, let's get a couple more of these. Uh, let's see. Other thing is maybe another mine. Maybe two. Just take both of those. Because yeah, our, our income is our, our biggest issue. We have next to nothing. Once I've kind of filled this entire area out with as many guns as I can, it won't be a problem. But building in the moment is just going to be an issue. Uh, let's see. Do we do we build the iron portal? No, not yet. But I will so say this area is looking at least not as bad as it had been. Okay, is this big rod a uh, a magnet? Not really. Oh, did that take something out? I think it took out a gun that I was going to build. I guess I'll build it back a smidge. And then maybe look into getting another missile launcher in a couple of spots. Okay, did they update this game? I don't think so. I just kind of felt like playing it because... Whenever I'm, like, kind of tired, Creeper World is the perfect game for me. Because it doesn't really matter if my, like, micro is good or not. It's mostly just patience. And when I've got a headache, I've got nothing but patience. Trying to go faster is the problem. So, like, I'd actually really like to play Sonic the Hedgehog sometime this week. But, uh, between allergies and other stuff, I just really haven't been feeling Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, so if I do Terraform... Uh, copy current terrain. Control C. I'm gonna... I'm gonna start filling in these gaps. It's kind of minor. But these little holes make it a lot easier for the creep to get in. Oh, do we want to make the uh, brush size bigger? Yeah, there we go. And so if these are filled in, we don't have to worry about them sneaking in certain stuff in the gaps. And then I can kind of spread outwards a smidge. Okay. We've got one urn, so we can actually get the urn portal down. Okay. Yeah, the other reason why you want the flat terrain is that way you can pop the eggs when they hit the edge. It's definitely worth getting to at least the first boss in Sonic. Okay. We might actually do that, uh, if not tonight, maybe tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure. Because, yeah, I, I will admit I don't really specialize in... Um, triple a games or whatever the hell sonic the hedgehog is at this point uh i usually don't specialize in those games but i'm certainly curious about that one i tried playing god of war last night because a lot of people have been asking me whether or not i'm you know gonna do any coverage of it because i'd covered the previous one and so shell and i decided to just play like the first couple hours to see if like i wanted to stream it and the answer was i was just kind of sad playing it and like it's an emotional game for a good reason um and I, I think there are serious serious merits to what it is. Uh, but over the last couple of years, I'm not particularly big on sad things. I will probably hold off on covering that for a time. 
at some point maybe I'll go back and play through all of all of them. Maybe not play through the previous God of War, but we'll see. Yeah, Sonic is like double A and three quarters. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. I would love to see uh, at some point Sega just be like, hey, uh, Sonic Mania people, you guys want to like head up a proper th uh, 3D Sonic just to see what happens? Because I bet you could get some like really special things out of the fan base. Or not. We'll see. Okay, let's just do energy collection and mine production. I'd like to have some big guns, but our biggest issue is just purely power. And until we can fix that, fix that, I don't know. I was super excited for the Ogre Tactics, uh, Tactics Ogre re-release. I did you like it? I thought it was good, but admittedly, I I've never played any of the previous iterations of Tactics Ogre, so I couldn't really tell you. Uh, it certainly matched my memories with uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah, it's part of the reason why you run into Scorn. I didn't really find Scorn a sad game. I just, I thought Scorn was an interesting museum. You know, not really a game, not even really that fun. Mostly just a, hey, here's what happens when a bunch of artists go like hog wild with a style. Okay. Just get a couple of terps all over the place. We want to kind of flatten this out. So how are we even going to do anything? I think I think my best best bet is actually to go here. Take out this area. Because these little suckers are getting me a problem. I can snipe them there, but it's going to be hard to get into Eggland. Eggman land? It's going to advertise being way more Bioshocky in terms of combat. And that was the big problem. Hmm. I don't pay attention to marketing for games because they lie. Either they lie or things get kind of out of control. Uh, easiest example I could probably give would be like uh, No Man's Sky. I really like No Man's Sky, even in its like initial uh, somewhat um, limited state. I thought it was actually like a perfectly fine if kind of boring game, but it was like it was a solid experience to just kind of fly around and explore. And... Part of it was I paid no attention to the, like, uh, pre-launch marketing for that game, and I think it was a really good idea. Okay, let's go up to times four speed. At this point, I think we're in a, a fine spot, and I can speed this up dramatically. It was just that initial bit was uh, a little spicy. I'll get some more missiles just in case. And maybe a sniper to, or two up close. Because we want to be able to take out any eggs before they get too close. Eggs are going to be the big issue. Um, yes, Scorn was a love letter to H.R. Giger. Yeah. And so, like, I would actually like to go back to play through the rest of Scorn at some point with Shell when I'm not feeling crummy all the time. Because, uh, unfortunately, allergies have just been kicking my ass from August until now. Um, and, like, this has actually been the worst of it. Uh, last month or so, which is not very fun. Uh, and so at some point, I'm hoping we can finally, like, move or something. And I can start streaming longer hours again. So I could, you know, maybe finish some things. But so, yeah, for Scorn, I was actually quite surprised when people were mad about the combat or even, like, talking about the combat. I'm like, there's combat in this game? It looked like a walking simulator. I do have quite this stockpile of AC I'm not using. Yeah, I'm kind of really lazy about AC. I shouldn't be. Um, Anti-creep just is awkward for me. It's good. Don't get me wrong. I just kind of don't care about it. Yeah, since August, much sympathy. Yeah, I'm super allergic to a couple of things around here in such a way that it's quite hard for me to deal with. It's not like hella terra bad all the time, but like, you know, just a low level headache and sniffle all the time. Or uh, snoring so I don't sleep as well. Or uh, uh, predisposition to bad sore throats. And it's like, it's I'm not sick. Like, if I had a cold, I think I'd be kind of like chill with it because like, okay, it'll go away. 
But with allergies, it's a big question mark of like, what am I allergic to and when is it going away? And the answer is never. And so mostly I just got to get out of here. Okay, I'm just going to move a number of my terraformers over here. Because we want to effectively start pushing this direction. And the easiest way to do that is just flatten the terrain and then just roll in the guns. Speaking of rolling in the guns, I probably have enough that we can handle this. Yeah, co constant post-nasal drip. Oh yeah, it's rough. Yeah, funny enough, Wander, I find my allergies are so set off by the... Or set off the worst by the pollens of certain trees. Yep. I'm pretty sure it's like a type of uh, northeastern oak. But I could be quite wrong. I only have these allergies in New England. And even then, it's mostly only Boston area. Which is where my parents live. And where I am currently staying. Suffice to say, uh, allergy town for me. Okay, let's let's actually start putting some pylons up in here. Spread this out a little bit. Okay. Just move the guns up. Because, yeah, you can really make a lot of headway if you just kind of do light cannon pushes. I'm probably going to want to get a second, a second group, though. But yeah, our original hope is to buy a house this year, but uh, that, yeah, the housing market's kind of stupid. So it's like, okay, let's let's find apartments, maybe. I've got a, my eye on quite a couple, so it's like, yeah, it shouldn't be should be too hard to find a place. Okay, can I take that? No, it's gonna get gonna get blasted. Maybe, maybe we're lucky. Yeah, because if I can if I can have this guy supported. We don't have to worry about it too much. All right, let's take some of these guys in the back, move them up. This is going to be a bit of a doozy getting up here. So maybe maybe we actually just plunk in a couple of mortars. Because I think it'll be easier to get at this emitter if I actually have a mortar or three. There we go. I moved across the country from New Mexico to North Carolina. It's been allergy hell all year round. Oof. I didn't have allergy issues. Wait, no, I did. I forgot. There was a period of time in North Carolina where whatever... There was like a tree that had like really yellow pollen that would coat the whole area. That was hell. I'd forgotten about that because it's... You know, I lived there in middle school. Okay, we lose a couple of cannons. Oof. It's these little drones nuking me. I might be able to snipe them. I think I can get a couple of snipers down. But I'm going to have to snipe them before I get up any further. Oh. Yeah, your car went from white to yellow. Yep. I remember the middle school would have these, like, they would power wash the, uh, they would power wash all the con concrete at the beginning of spring. And, oop, there goes that cannon. Uh, which always made no sense to me because within, like, a week or two, it would be allergy hell. Uh, and all, or pollen hell, and all, all of the, uh, you know, nice power wash concrete would go from. You know, kind of a gleaming gray to, uh, oh, yellow again. Yeah, I remember. I remember that now. Holy shit, this is actually going to be kind of difficult to get into. Uh, maybe, maybe if I just push around this direction. Wait, I might actually be able to build a nullifier here at this distance. If these guys can't get to the nullifier, then we're good. So is any option to get curative allergies? Kind of. Um, I've never looked into it personally, so I can't really tell you. I had one friend that was doing some allergy therapy 
My thing is, my allergies are only only existent in a very small number of locations. Uh, so it's not super important for me to, like, seek a long-term solution. Okay. I think I'm just going to need a ton of lasers. Or not lasers, snipers, just to kind of hit this area. Because we're not going to be able to get any headway in here until these things have largely just gone away. Oh, and they're coming out of this thing, aren't they? Okay, maybe this is actually a little bit more doable than I thought. Because if they're coming out of this, then I can potentially lock it down. I just got to get in there. Okay, let's get a couple of missiles up. Okay, cannon. Cannons. Just a bunch of cannons. Ah, they took it out. But I think the other thing you have to kind of recognize about um, American healthcare is that preventative anything is really expensive. Uh, so yeah, if you want to... If you want to get your allergies dealt with, that's going to be a couple thousand dollars easy. Okay. There we go. Three snipers should be able to lock that down permanently. Right, it's, a, it's a couple thousand dollars to get any kind of pre preventative thing. Unless you can prove that whatever your allergies are, are like so debilitating that it needs to be cured and then your insurance might pay for it. Um, and this isn't true of, like, all insurance, but it's often true in kind of really, really kind of shitty way. Um. Here, let's, let's scoot a couple of these up. Getting one of these snipers, maybe? Because, yeah, if I can have a sniper that takes out these little guys before they get too close, then we can kind of... Start pushing in. There we go. And without French healthcare, what is 2,000 every two months otherwise? Yeah. So it's 100% possible in the US. Like, American healthcare can be really good. You just have to be more than willing to pay stupid amounts of money for it, and a lot of people can't. Okay, let's see if I can take this upper area. This is kind of stinky, but I might be able to make it work. And then this thing is actually starting to fall with all the extra guns. Cool. Yeah, you just have to be, uh, you just have to be rich. Yup. I'm like, I should be entirely fair. I am fairly privileged and could maybe afford this kind of thing. But I have other things that I'm trying to earmark that money for. Because as annoying as my allergies are, it's solved by me just not being here. Okay. I want to get up in here. Get access to this Bertha. Speaking of, we've got a bunch of red stuff. Let's, uh, let's build an M-Rift first. The answer is more mortars. I'm more of a more cannon kind of guy. I like mortars, but they act kind of silly sometimes. Okay, and I'm just going to have this thing shoot automatically. I don't care where it's shooting. Just do some damage to them. Let's see, at this point, American healthcare might be more about moving to another country and getting it there much cheaper and then going back home with some money left over. I mean, if I remember right, uh, healthcare tourism to, like, Mexico is super common in the U.S. I, I don't know much about it, because I wouldn't, but uh, it's, like, not uncommon for people to go down to Mexico, Mexico for, like, a procedure that uh, ends up being, like, way cheaper as a result. 
We don't even need, uh... See, what is this thing? Can I nullify it? Never, I've never seen this before. No, I can't put a nullifier on it. So I guess I get to just surround it by, uh, surround it with guns. All right, uh, let's see, terraform very quickly, just because we've got a couple of those gaps. And then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna start pushing this, thing as we've got this entire area kind of on lockdown. Been focused on that one side, but I don't need to. Don't fall for Canada's free healthcare. You get what you pay for. I think the main issue is just that a lot of people take it for granted and don't expand the system because it's expensive. I'm sure there are downsides, but let me tell you, uh, having having to pay for your own healthcare all the time is a much worse experience. Most of the time. I mean, if you're super rich, then that's a different story. Okay, I think we're good, but I think we're going to want to get a couple of snipers here just to take these things out. I do not know what's up with these, like, little fountain things, but they're kind of spooky. Okay, well, here's the thing. My anti-creep is largely just kind of controlling this area anyway, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to move up over in here. I could go further this direction, but, eh, no, I mean, we kind of want to. It's just mainly these little guys are kind of a nuisance. Yeah, the fountains probably are like tunnels. Okay. Should be good. Move that over. I like it how I, I talk dismissively about anti-creep, but the anti-creep is like single-handedly winning half of this battle for me just by pushing back. I mean, taking out this emitter right here, actually. Uh, solves the issue pretty dramatically. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna keep chucking cannons at the problem until it goes away. There's nothing particularly threatening that I have to deal with, so just chuck cannons, uh, build cannons, and chuck them. Win full ammo. Easy. Okay. Do we want to head there or oh gosh, do we want to just head to Eggland? Let's go to Eggman land. Now obviously it's going to be increasingly pissed off at me because of, you know, Egg. But if I can kind of hold this area and take it. Oh, we are going to have to worry about those little guys, aren't we? Okay, let's um probably sacrifice that sucker. Because if I can get even just like one or two snipers up in here, we can start clearing them out. I love it when they try and drop like a glob right in the middle of a cannon rush. The cannons are just like, no. And it doesn't even, it just doesn't even expand. All right, we're good. And if I can take out this one, that clears it out. Because I think we only have two bot spawners. This one and that one. Alright, most of the eggs are gone. Let's just take uh, some of this cluster. Uh, not yet. Okay, move them out of that. It's like they got a little wise to my strategy. I think they're just dropping more eggs in this general area. Okay. This area is fine. I'm just not going to touch it. I don't multitask well. I can juggle a lot of projects somewhat independently of each other, but... In an RTS? Nah. -uh. Not even close. Okay. Let's just load up on snipers, where it's kind of safe to do so. Okay. 
because these little guys don't have that much range, and if I can just keep them sniped down, then we're free. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just got to get close enough that I can get a nullifier down. Is the range. I guess that's my best. Oh. You know, I never even nullified this one. How is it just not emitting? I guess they're just shooting it as soon as it puts out any. <laughs> that's like the saddest little emitter. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Twitch bugged and you're hearing my voice and an ad. Oof, I'm sorry you had to deal with that. Alright, looks like we're good. I can start pushing in here. I was going to make a self-deprecating joke like, you know, I don't know why anyone would willingly subject myself to, uh, or themselves to my voice. But, no, I should actually, I don't know, take some credit. I actually really do like my voice nowadays. Every once in a while, I will, like, li listen to a playback of myself and be like, ugh. Um, like, it is, it is actually, like, a, a fact of YouTube or Twitch or whatever that, uh, listening to your voice played back at you uh, it sounds wrong, which is really interesting. Uh, and so, like, one of the biggest barriers to success as a YouTuber, especially, is, um, like, just at, at the start, is getting used to hearing your own voice in playback. Because more than likely, you're going to sound wrong to yourself, because you're not hearing the vibrations through your skull. Um, yeah, listening to your own voice is horrible. You get used to it after a while, and then, uh, if you do it enough, you actually end up almost sounding better on the recording, weirdly enough. But you still sound a little weird. It's very much like an uncanny valley vo uh, voice mode. Okay, so we still have the stupid little fountains that I'm going to have to worry about. Alright, I never actually did build MRIFs out in these territories, did I? Let's set, th let's set that up. Ah. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to cough more than once over the course of these streams, and there's not much I can do about that. Okay, let's just spread that out. Yeah, we're going to have to worry about those fountains, but if I just surround them in cannons, I don't think we need to worry about it. Alright. Now, at this point, I could probably actually just let the anti-creep handle most of it, especially if I just uh, surrounded this area in snipers and missiles. Uh... Oh wait, no, this thing, this thing is an emitter. Okay, so can't do that. I guess let's go back and take a look at this. And, um, I'll do the usual. Cannons. Whee! The giant cube of creep makes me giggle. I feel like it would taste like jello, but what kind of, like, blue raspberry? Which isn't a thing. It tastes like blue raspberry jello. Just super artificial in the worst possible way. Okay. Oh, this sucker probably should not be directly on top of that. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna have a couple of casualties until we get the snipers in, but I think we'll be fine. Those fountains are really interesting. I've never seen them elsewhere in this game. In fact, I'd actually say Creeper World is probably maybe a little loud. Let me know if it's actually too loud. Um, I think Creeper World has to be one of the only games I've ever seen that has like more cut content that is still available in the game that's just like suspiciously absent in the campaign mode and just never referenced or used in any way, shape, or form. And every time I load this game up, it's just like there's a new little bit or bob that I'm like, that's in the game? That's not a modded thing? It's battery acid flavored grape. Ah, it's too blue for grape. Ain't no blue grapes. Okay, do we want to just start looting some guns out of, out of these places? Yeah. Is 
Except for the sniper. Uh. Actually, maybe. Maybe we just leave the. We do bring the sniper with. Start cannon rushing with with some amount of snipes. They're holding. I think they got it, actually. The dev is interesting to watch. You can tell he loves the game. I'm glad. I met a couple of developers that are, like, super burnt out and hate the things they make. And it's just like, oh, that's a shame. I, I feel like the, this is probably one of the most ideal state game development setups you could possibly have. Where you have a really passionate developer that makes a product kind of on their own time. No rush. No worries about, um... No worries about, like deadlines or anything like that. Just, you know, go go absolutely nuts. Um, and a fan base that kind of follows it pretty ardently without having to worry too much about, like, um, losing fans on every sequel because the previous games still hold up just as well. Yeah, there's slip emitters from Creeper World 3 that chairs in Rift Space. That's what they are. It's been a little while. Okay. Let's see if I can get two nullifiers down. I think we're golden. Because, yeah, if I can nullify these, then all I have to do is just kind of let... Or rip into this area and not have to worry about it. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's go back and take a look at this real quick. Ugh. Ha. Ah, where am I? Okay, there I am. Going into top-down mode is always super confusing. <laughs> okay. Move this gun out. We might as well actually finally utilize all of the mine spots. That might not actually... Oh, hi. Uh, maybe that's fine. I don't think I depleted this area fully on purpose. Did I lose anything? No? I don't think I did. I guess I just must have ignored that area. Because it wasn't really necessary. Which is true. It wasn't particularly necessary. All right, let's take uh, let's take this batch, move it in, take it over here. Because if I can cut it off here, then we don't have to worry about it spreading this direction. I still play Creeper World Three sometimes. It's such a great franchise. Yup. Like every single one of these games, as long as they remain playable, uh, will be forever timeless. I think I'm gonna prefer Creeper World Three just because its uh, transition to 3D was so damn smooth. Uh, it's not the prettiest game, but neither was Creeper World. <laughs> neither was Creeper World One. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's just build another mess of cannons. But the sheer potential for the things that you can do with this franchise in 3D and the the different weapons and and options there are pretty damn limitless. Here, let's just um. Let's just cannon rush this entire area. Are we about to hit the reclaim? Yeah. Should probably actually build structure. Let's get a refinery down. So we can start filling out those pylons. Not that it really matters. Okay. Or sorry, totems. Whoops. And I got distracted. Oops. I'm going to pay for that just a smidge. I don't think I'm going to pay for it too much, though. I like this one. Every once in a while, it does like a full 360 degree spin. And it's kind of fun to watch. Okay, looks like we're good. I have to make sure I don't deplete it too hard. But I do kind of want to hit this area just a smidge. Both of these. Okay. I think we're good. I don't know. Just fill this out a little bit. 
And I should probably get some missile launchers down at this point. I'd be pretty sad if I left this area undefended and whoopsie do, he lands a couple of eggs in the area and the whole thing goes to shit. It doesn't happen often, but it does enough that it's a pain. Hey, and I think I got rid of all the bot spawners, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Nice. Okay. I wish there was a really slow version of these towers that would just slowly cover... Uh, maybe the map, but only the parts that are covered in anti-creep. Just so I don't have to fill it out with... Uh, Just so I don't have to fill it out with um, the little power towers. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So the big issue mostly is going to be uh, taking out the giant cube of Forbidden Jello. Here's the thing, though. Forbidden Jello doesn't really have a whole lot of defenses. So I'm just going to shoot it. There we go. That'll take it down in no time. I like how these cannons, yep, just in unison. Brrr. Oh, you can even see it going down. Holy shit, look at that go. It's trying to refill a little bit and compensate, but you cannot compensate for massive quantity of gun. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Do we just take a plurality of these and move them in? I think so. I don't want to leave the little uh, space tears open too much. Okay, I don't think we lost anything there, but it's hard to tell. I was hoping they'd actually manage to deplete this a little bit faster, but alas, fine. If I can even just take... Uh, If I can even just take this corner and plop some snipers on it, I think I'll be a happy camper. Uh, let's see. Do we want to do we want to try that? Just chuck guns on it until we can take it. Because, yeah, this is actually looking pretty secure. Yep. Alright, cool. We're going to pile on here. Now, the question is... How many snipers do I get? I think I might want... I think I might want all my guns up here first. Uh, let's see. Shift X. Yeah, there it is. Okay, do we got spare... We do have spare cannons. You know what? None of these suckers are doing anything. Let's move them in. Because we're about to piss off a bunch of eggs. We might as well have some bad boys that can deal with it. Okay, there we go. That's going to piss off the eggs, but it should also get rid of them. There you go. I wish I could build Bertha's. I'm not, I'm honestly a little bit sad that that's not something you can build in this. Oh yeah, I forgot there's air units. Eh, I don't use those. I prefer, I prefer the cold hard reliability of endless gun. Speaking of endless gun, uh, do we just? 
go in here. Oh god. Am I gonna send a sniper? Yep. I'm gonna send a s sniper. It's going to be a mess. This thing is going to go ape. Time to have some losses. Eh, we lost like two? That actually could have gone like a thousand times worse than it did. Okay. Weapon. Nullifier. If we put it there, it should be protected. If I can take this spore launcher out, we're golden. Okay. Because if I can take this out, then we can move all of my cannons here and they, they can start taking this area. Uh, do we want to just set up a big cannon rush just to start depleting egg? Yeah. Why not? What else am I doing with my massive reserves of energy? Can you destroy the creep sources? Not anymore, no. Uh, I don't think. Wait. I don't think you can. I think there's like a mod where you can. Or a mode? I've definitely done it where you can destroy them. Uh, yeah, it's an overload button. But that is not available to me. I do miss the old riffs. Like, that, that always was really fun. Okay, and you know what? All things considered, instead of pushing further, let's just... Let's just make mistakes. I have a quantity of gun. There we go. Look at that go. Oh, baby. It's a self-correcting problem, though, because <laughs> the snipers all died. Ooh. Something didn't like that. Ouch. Oh, interesting. The little, like, fissures in between are actually acting as a natural firewall. Well, that's kind of impre uh, impressive and effective. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna wait for this to... Ah, uh, hell, what am I... What am I saying? I'm not gonna wait for anything. Build more cannons. If I could turn off those little fountains in the back, this would be so much easier, because then I could just kind of adventure forward. But alas, no dice. Okay, let's take these bad boys and secure ourselves this corner. Because, like, half of these guns aren't even working anyway. Okay, and you know what? Do we build an MRF right here? Sure. Okay. Get those down before we lose all of my boys. Get them, you heroic lads. All right, we've got this area. I think I want to kind of scoot up to this thing, because if I can take that out, it's going to make my life much easier. All right, what are we thinking? I could take these boyos and make them do things, but you know what? We've got a we've got a couple of these spots where I can totally just move my dudes. I just want to kind of take this hill, because if I can if I can have the height advantage here, we're unstoppable. Okay, I think we're good. Alright, so in that case, what I'm gonna do... ...is just slowly expand the quantity of cannons that I have. 
I guess we can also play Leapfrog, too. There we go. And if I can take this out... Weapons, Nullifier, perfect. If I can take this out, hopefully that'll turn off the fountains and we don't have to worry about our back line anymore. Okay, scoot these guys. Oh shit, it's just, it's just gone. And there goes the fountains, yep. Okay, well, in that case, let's let's get a couple missile launchers just to really stop them from doing anything. And then uh, it's a sniper rifle. Just one. I don't want to go too... I don't want to get too crazy with this. But yeah, now that we've turned off the fountains, we can just take all of these bad boys and move them in. There we go. Can you put an urn on a Bertha? Yes. The big issue with urns on Bertha is mostly is uh, powering them. I think I might actually need multiple M riffs if I wanna if I wanna do that kind of thing, which I guess I could do. It fires a triple spread. Eh, okay, maybe that doesn't increase the price cost. I thought it did, which is why I usually don't do it. Let's see. Why are you still hitting one of the bot producers anyway? Can you neutralize it uh, as you're doing with the other one? Oh yeah, I never did neutralize that. I thought I did put an nullifier on it. It must have gotten destroyed. I forgot because it's so heavily neutralized just by, you know, quantity of snipers pointed at it that it just didn't really seem necessary. Or maybe that it didn't feel necessary, but it's mostly just like had other things and so it's easy for that to escape my notice. Okay. That should be nicely surrounded. That nullifier must have gotten bombed. Eh, that'd be it. Well, one way or another, it shut down. And then this one's almost done for. Special, do we want to get another M rift up here? Yeah. What else am I even going to use all that red on for anyway? I guess I should probably get, a, like, some pylons down. Okay. Couple more mortars. Not that it really matters. But it's hard to get a nullifier in here half the time. I think... I think that's safe. I don't think we have anything else to worry about. And we've got one more totem that we have to connect. There we go. There we go. Everything's good. Nice. I have no idea. Whenever I look at these scores, it's like, I don't even know how I even rank on this. And it doesn't really matter to me.